Hello dear viewers and listeners, I hope each and everybody out there having good health and doing great. In this video, I shall be explaining a little bit about the plant tissues and is all about the simple tissues. Because in earlier classes, I already explained that the divisions of plant tissues and in this lecture, I will only focus on the simple tissues. As you know that the simple tissues are those who contains the similar size, shape and structure cells. So these cells are very similar in terms of their size, shape and structure. So following this, the plant tissues are divided into two parts like meristematic tissue and the permanent tissue. These are the divisions of permanent tissue as we know that the permanent tissues are also subdivided into three categories simple tissues, complex tissues and secretory tissues. Among them, this is the simple tissues which is further divided into three parts. I already wrote something which are the key words and key terms uh, on this lecture. So, this is the parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma. So, what are the main differences in between parenchyma, colenchyma and sclerenchyma? This is important and that's why I wrote some sort of things which is uh, maybe like easier to understand the differences. So if I go first to parenchyma, you need to know that parenchyma are those types of cells which has some sort of identification into their cells because this is the living cell. So the parenchyma cells are the living cells. Number two, they are actually the isodiametric. It means the diameter of the cells, they can be oval, they can be hexagonal or even they can be polygonal. So if I draw the, the parenchyma cells like this, so you can see that every cells are isodiametric. This iso means same and diametric comes from the word diameter. So the diameter of the cells are same. That is why it's called isodiametry. So all the cells look similar. And then all the cells, when they join each other, there is some intercellular space like this. So as the parenchyma cells are thin world, because uh, as I just said that this is the thin world because the presence of cellulose. So in the presence of cellulose, the walls of the cells are very thin. As they are thin, they, they have some in between intercellular space is present. That is why uh, I have wrote in that parenchyma cells have some, some common issues like living cells, isodiametric, thin walls, target with protoplasm. So the, the cells are targeted with the protoplasm and then there is an intercellular space will be found because all the cells are coming together and when they come together then there is a space as because there is a thin wall. So if you see the picture of the parenchyma cells on your book it may be similar that you see here like this is the picture of parenchyma. So this is actually the oval shape or even you can say circular shape. Each and every cells that are inside there will be cytoplasm and nucleus and you see all the cells are joined together and there is the presence of intercellular space and each and every cell contain nucleus and cytoplasm. So the most important thing what to be remember in case of parenchyma there are thin walls because of only cellulose and the intercellular space are found. Most important that the functions of parenchyma the functions of parenchyma mostly is the storage function. It stores food and in case of photosynthesis. When there is a photosynthesis, it means there will be the presence of chloroplast. If in parenchyma there is a presence of chloroplast, then the name would be chlorenchyma. So it will be chlorenchyma. Chlorenchyma. So in case of presence of photosynthetic pigment like chloroplast are there. So if chloroplast is present in parenchyma, then the parenchyma is called chlorenchyma. And if there is air space inside, then they call called erenchyma. Erenchyma. 
So these two words are also important because there are some MCQs on your question paper that what is called arenchyma or even what is called chlorenchyma. So the word is very important to remember that if there is a plastid or chloroplast inside the parenchyma then it's called chlorenchyma and in case of air space like it's found in uh, aquatic animals because this is the air space inside and it helps to be floated in the water so when parenchyma cells is filled with air space that air space parenchyma is called air and chyma. so in terms of functions this is very important that this is a storage function because there is photosynthesis and in case of location this is mostly found in the cortex of the stem and the root as because this parenchyma is uh, very similar in terms of their oval shaped cells you see so they are usually found in aquatic plants when this is uh, parenchyma and these parenchyma cells are to organize the body or the body parts of the plants to produce and conduct and store as food. So that is why the functions of the parent came are mostly storage and the photosynthesis. So when you study about the parent camera, you must know these keywords that will help to understand to distinguish from the colon camera and scleren camera. So if I go to colon camera, this cell is also living cell. This is living cell but elongated cell. And most importantly, when you see the colon chyma, these cells, the colon chyma cells are more thick walled. Thick walled. So these walls are very thick because of, because of with cellulose there is a presence of pectin. So when pectin depositions will happen to the, to the single tissues, this will call colon chyma. So the, so the differences between the parenchyma and colenchyma, firstly, that in the cell wall, the parenchyma cell wall was thin because of the presence of cellulose, but the cell wall of colenchyma are thick because the presence of pectin. When pectin deposition will happen, the, the, the wall will be thick and due to the thickness, due to the thickness, the entire cellular space I shortly wrote IS is lost as there is no space due to the thick wall. So most importantly in case of colon chyma you must remember the wall would be thick due to the presence of pectin. In case of function mostly what happened that it's rigid. It rigid and due to this rigidity it gives the mechanical strength of the plants like we can say the locations of the pollen chyma may be found in the petioles of the leaves like if I draw a picture suppose this is a mm, leaf and especially the pollen chyma found here and that why the this this point right colon chyma is present there that is why it gives the flexibility of the leaf so if there is a wind blow there then the leaf can move and then that flexibility happens due to the presence of colon chyma or even in case of fruits like if if this is fruits then here is also the presence of colon chyma because when it's not mature I mean in the primary level the colon chyma is become rigid and that's why when fruits uh, is adjoining with the plants then per the colon chyma gives the strength and rigidity that is why the main functions of colon chyma is the mechanical to provide the mechanical strength and also the production of food because there is also the presence of uh, plastic and also the rigidity hence these are very similar so mainly the function is the giving the uh, mechanical support and also the rigidity to the plants in case of understanding the location we mostly found in the petioles of leaves and also the stems rigidity so when there is a rigidity functions primarily it gives by colon chyma and in case of scleren chyma this is a very hard and when the cells get mature these are getting the dead cells so scleren chyma cells will be dead when it will be mature so this is important so in case of scleren chyma firstly we can say this is hard cell and also this is elongated 
in case of wall i mean the cell wall is very thick because of there is another word you need to remember the lignin depositions happening and that is why this term is called lignification lignification and in terms of functions also the similar like column cover it gives the rigidity and the flexibility of the plants and mostly uh, the sclerenchyma are two different types of cells like number one fibers and sclerites so in terms of fibers we can say like in the vascular bundle there are xylems and phloem in that types the fibers may present and this is called bust fiber actually in terms of fibers this is called bust fiber or you can say xylem fiber which is also known as wood fiber so the bust fiber and the wood fiber are also the part of fiber which is the part of sclerites uh, sclerenchyma and sclerites are also the part of sclerenchyma and because this is the dead cells so i only wrote a very simple distinguishing factors of these simple tissues we know that parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma are part of simple tissue because they are having the similar types of cells here you can see also the differences between the figures that in case of uh, parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma there is an elongated part and that elongations gives the word fibers in case of xylem it would be uh, bus fiber and in case sorry xylem fiber and in case of phloem it would be bust fiber and we know that xylem fiber is also known as wood fiber so very simple colenchyma sclerenchyma and parenchyma so i hope on the next class i shall be explaining about more on uh, animal tissues and the differences in between the muscular tissues epithelial tissues connective tissues and nerve tissues so see you on the next class stay connected with me and do let me know what is the requirement take care